What is going on guys? This is JB Dilla Chiha and I am back. And also my reviewing area is under construction. As you can see, I only have two posters up behind me right now, but I plan on getting the rest of my things out of storage, my uh, manga volumes and my uh, figures and all that stuff. But that'll come with time. Um, I'm <laughs> Work has been crazy. But anyway, um, I'm coming to you guys today to talk to you about the Tower of God because I've never really expressed my opinions on it. And as of the recording of this video, we are to the second the second to last episode, episode 12, just came out. I just watched it. And honestly, it is, I want to say it's my favorite episode so far. And I'm going to get into what I like about this series. Now, a lot of people are way more in love with this series than I am because I I know it comes from a webtoon, a Korean webtoon. Um, and I haven't read it. I have no idea what's going to happen next. I don't know how OP Bomb will be but i am enjoying the story so far but i will say it's turning out way different than i thought it would be based on the first few episodes the vibes i got it went a different direction i'm going to go into that but it's still a really enjoyable watch i love it but um i believe the people who read the webtoon are into it more than an anime only watcher like myself or just me personally i don't know uh because they know what's going to happen next they know what bomb will become and it's completely obvious that, like, I think it was a third, second or third episode where one of the rankers was like, a monster is here. Like, they sensed what's inside of Bomb, and they know what's going on with him, and we don't. Or I don't, anyway. I don't know if you guys do. And I am completely ready to see his development and what he becomes. Now, over the last 12 episodes, there is still one more coming out uh, next Wednesday. Uh, he has evolved pretty much like his shinzu control is getting way better he even learned a ranker's technique in like literally just by looking at it so that's really dope but what really intrigued me the most was this in episode 12 and i forget what episode it was like three or four when he literally became shinzu and uh, destroyed that girl's eye and this episode where he just completely obliterated the inside of that bowl with the golden shinzu that was really dope and i'm really anxious to see how he is when he actually controls it and can just you know just use those things without having to be hurt first or he can just start off a battle like that because even up against the bull he struggled he even got eaten by it very similar to what he got eaten by in the first episode but he made his way out of course so um i'm i'm really i don't think we've seen what all bomb can do i think when he was knocked out and turned into Shinzu in the earlier episodes, he was just letting it all out like unconsciously. And this one, he was just really worried about um, he and Rachel's safety. And I'm gonna get to Rachel in a second. Um, but I, I thought that we would develop in his character a little bit more by now. But next episode, <laughs> he's he got pushed off by Rachel, which it, like I said, I'm gonna get to that. Um, he got pushed off by Rachel from that platform. Um, and he's obviously going to come back. I mean, he's the main character. He has to. So I, I believe he may unlock his true potential or maybe uh, maybe a percentage of that, act, you know, consciously without him having to be all messed up first. And hopefully he actually shows us something really dope next episode. I, I really can't wait to see what he does and his reaction to Rachel pushing him off that platform. I still don't understand why she did that she can walk and that big silent guy that rack was having that chocolate eating contest with that was fucking hilarious how he disappeared when she was injured um i don't know what's going on with her like this this anime is just so crazy this series is in general and like i said a lot of you have already read the webcomic you're well past this point i'm still new i don't know what's going on but i really do hope bomb i, I mean i think we can all agree that an enraged bomb would be amazing like bam would be so so dope if he got got angry at something and then just exploded like even when ho uh stabbed rachel he was more like why you know like a sympathetic kind of like but you're our friend kind of thing i really want to see this guy lose his shit and just go off like get angered i don't know why but i, I feel like it's going to happen at some point maybe next episode once he realizes that rachel isn't all she's cracked up to be like I said, I don't know her motivations or anything too in-depth about her character besides what's been shown in the anime so far. So, yeah. But I do know that um, Rack is 
my favorite character but i do wish all right so when i first start, started this series episode one uh i thought rack was going to just demolish things like episode one showed a really really good power scaling of a lot of characters when it was anak versus i forgot that uh that samurai warrior guys a name i'm sorry but um when they were fighting and then they destroyed everything around them i was like this series is going to be dope and rack was this big alligator thing as uh coon calls him which is hilarious and he he didn't really mess anything up throughout this season too much i mean he showed off how strong he is and the perfect opportunity to show us what he could do in my opinion was th this past episode episode 12 when they fought all those goblin things i mean he threw a few of them but he didn't really do anything spectacular so i was like okay i thought rack was going to be fucking shit up this entire uh season and and that's really the only i wouldn't even say it's a complaint it just from the first episode the first few episodes things have misled me i don't know about you guys to be thinking it's going to be this way but it really turns out that way like i was so hyped at the end of was it episode 10 where at the end um bomb wanted to take the administrator's test and then we saw that big fish staring at him and it ended off on that cliffhanger i was like oh next episode is going to be dope and he's going to take this awesome test he's going to unlock his powers but turns out the test is really just him relying on his friends and him sitting on a platform with rachel to get eaten by this big flowered fish thing so i'll like i said things i'm thinking is going to go one way ends up going another maybe rachel pushing him off maybe that's not really rachel uh it's part of his test maybe he's going to unlock his true power as he's falling maybe that's his actual test but i just thought it was weird that he's the one taking that administrator's test and um he, he's relying on everybody else to help him out he's not even really doing anything the bull thing wasn't even supposed to happen if that smiling assassin weirdo didn't sick the bull on him you know what i mean so if no one else interfered the test would have strictly been him just riding up the elevator and that's his test i mean it just seems kind of weird for such a huge i mean i understand the risks are great because he can get eaten by that other thing that can actually kill him but i mean it just seems like a very weird test like th this entire series has been like that like i think it's going to be one thing but it's another but that's not entirely a bad th bad thing it's just a different take and it, it, it's actually refreshing so i'm digging it so far and um one thing i really like about episode 12 it shows a huge difference between um even in the princesses of J uh, jihad like we've seen that anak the horned lady i forgot her name i'm sorry i'm horrible with names we see that they are pretty badass they've been whooping ass most of the season but they're faced up against someone who's way stronger than them even both of them combined couldn't even stand a chance against this guy really and then a real ranker level princess of jihad came in and just demolished him pretty much with no effort i mean she was yawning checking out her nails i'm like okay this is the shit i like to see where our characters like anak the horn girl bomb where they are now and seeing other people in their category but at a much higher level you know something they have to work towards like she even took anak's uh uh, what was it the the green the green march oh the green april i'm sorry I, I, names are i'm i'm kind of fucked up with names i'm sorry but yeah she took a next sword whip thing and said that you can't even use this right come back when you can use it right so i'm really anxious to see what it can do once a knock has more training and gets a little closer to ranker level uh because she did some pretty amazing things with it throughout this season like especially when she was mad at bomb when she saw that he had the the, the black march so i mean <laughs> i want to see like the full extent of a ranker's power we've seen glimpses of it we've seen what some of the rankers can do with limited shinzu uh with they weren't really trying like, even the princess i want to see like a full-on like hard fought battle of them actually trying because the princess um y yuri i believe her name is i remember her name because she was so badass to me uh the uh yuri that princess of jihad uh it's obvious that she's way stronger than what she's putting on because she didn't even have to try she was about to kill that that weird smiling assassin guy with no issue really so it's just really it like i said it, it's more for our main characters the characters we see almost every episode like bomb anak 
the horned girl, uh, uh, Coon, everybody for them to work towards like a level that they're nowhere near yet. Um, I, I know Bomb is going to get there. He's the main character. He has seemingly unlimited Shinzu in him, so he's he's going to get there. But like I said, I really enjoy this series. Um, maybe not as much as people who already are into it or have been into it. Like, I know it's a big thing that a webtoon got an anime like this. So, I mean, it opens up many, many more possibilities for more anime to come in the future. Um, th there's a there's a webtoon I was actually very, very into called, I think it was called Sweet Home. I haven't read it in a while, but it was really dope. And I'll be hyped if something like that got an anime as well. But, um, but yeah, tell me what you guys think about the series. Uh, like I said, it's just always one thing. It seems like it's going to be something, but it turns out to be something else. Like, it's not stereotypical at all, in my opinion. Bombs, motives, and character might be just a little bit stereotypical of a like a shonen anime. Like, oh, I want to protect this girl. Uh, she's my everything and whatever. But I really kind of see it as a little bit naive. But because basically what i've seen so far what i've gotten from it is rachel cares about bomb but like she it, she pushed him off the, the platform man i'm sure there's a reason behind it and but it, it seems like she's been misleading and lying to him a lot more than he wants to come to face to face with and he really needs to i mean, in my opinion like at this point i'm like fuck rachel she's fucking over my my homie man uh, i love bomb's character but like i said he seems a little naive like and th their world is still kind of a weird mystery to me like they've never seen real stars but there's obviously way more places out there than just the tower area they're taking a the test in because in the latest episode coon was confronted by another coon family member um and in a few flashbacks we see some characters like on ships and you know way way far away so no place in this world has stars it's just it's just like a really strange world building thing for me that i'm still trying to wrap my head around like uh okay i was like okay maybe in this test area it's like a world that some people are raised in that's different from like earth so i, I don't know what's going on but i'm sure everything will reveal itself as the um series goes on but yeah tell me what you guys think i'll just want to tell you guys my honest opinions about this series i love it it's really dope i'm really looking forward to seeing what bomb turns into and more development from every character and i really wish rack would have shown us more of his raw brute strength we can tell he's strong i mean he lifts things that would be heavy to us but it really isn't to him he threw that spear like dumb far a few times but we really haven't seen him fight fight we really haven't seen a, a bomb coon or him fight fight i mean there was the crown game there was a few other like scuffles but i mean i I can't wait until we get into like the really, really, really serious shit. I mean, Bomb is in danger of failing the test and whatnot. I'm pretty sure he's gonna unlock his Super Saiyan Shinzu mode and fly back up there and, and be like, hey, what the fuck, bitch? Why'd you push me off like that? So, I mean, we're gonna get some epic stuff, no doubt, but it's just taking a little longer than I would have liked. I mean, we're getting epic stuff, but from other characters, like from Yuri, some of the rankers and stuff like that. But it is a slow progression. Um, a lot of the main characters were OP in my eyes, like Anak, but we really see now how uh, far below what their actual true potential is. Like, uh, the line between Anak, well, the space between Anak and Yuri is like really, really big. Like, they're nowhere near each other in terms of power. So, that, that has me hopeful to seeing like their training their journey and how they get stronger over time but anyway tell me what you guys think about this series i'm loving it so far like i said i'm gonna go before i <laughs> uh keep on rambling because i could talk about a lot of the characters and, and events that have happened uh for a long time but yeah i'm about to get out of here but i do want to say that i actually enjoyed talking to you guys about stuff like this still you guys should follow me on twitch so i could talk about to, to you directly in real time about anime or whatever um it's always a good time when we do that and uh yeah i'll be streaming uh later on tonight and uh i have a few more announcements to make i'm not going to do it right now i almost did but stay tuned because i'm trying to rebirth this channel and re-merchandise myself so i can kind of make myself happy and make 
you happy as well. But anyway, this has been JB the Chiha. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.